Good morning. Welcome to the Richard and Simple Living. My name's Maria and if you're new here, I mainly vlog about homeschooling, urban, homesteading and home life, which is normally cooking and such like. Um, today it's home life, but it's a bit of behind the scenes home life. So it's a special day today. It's my daughter's birthday, my youngest daughter. So we're going to do a bit of behind the scenes. So you're going to see a bit of... Um, getting ready for a buffy because we're going to have a buffy later with her brothers and a sister and family members nieces and nephews it sounds funny saying that because she's only 15 but nieces and nephews <laughs> she's having them round so we're going to be doing a buffy so what i'm going to do is just show you little clips behind the scenes as we go about today and then later at tea time when the buffy's all out i'll show you what we've been doing but one of the things I noticed with the buffet, um, I bought some little things from um, Ison, like little small apple pie things, and it says that you can air fry them. So we might do that later. I've never air fried them before. I have had the apple things before, popped them in the oven just to warm through. But I thought, oh, we'll try them in the air fryer. So I might show you that later, and um, I'll show you what we do for a buffet. I'm afraid it's not all homemade. <laughs> I don't have the time to do it all homemade um, because I have to make quite a bit of it. So I'll show you later anyway. So follow me as the day goes along and see what our behind the scenes is like. So Dean's getting ready. He's going to make some sandwiches. We do a variety of sandwiches. But before you do that, you've always got to have the compulsory cup of coffee. <laughs> I've got the birthday girl herself making herself some breakfast. All the loaves ready to make the sandwiches with. I'm going to swing around. And we've got some of the presents there that me and the dad have got her. Her sister's got hers in another room for her. And um, no doubt she'll have various things throughout the day. So, that's that for now. I won't show you Sean opening the presents because she's quite private and she doesn't really like all the fuss. She doesn't mind odd shots, but she doesn't, wouldn't like me to do it, you know, opening them all. We did do it last year. She was okay with it last year, but I don't think she's so keen this year. So uh, we'll come back in a little while and see how things are progressing. We've got sandwiches in progress and yeah. do the cheese ones now. I think that's the end of you opening it. Just Quick look in here. Um, Sean's sat opening some presents, so we'll come back to that in a bit and I'll show you what she's had. So these are a few of the things that Sean's had. She's had some money, and no doubt she'll have more money later because people never know what to get her. She's got a poster. <laughs> What's in your poster, Sean? What was your... Oh, mind you, you've got my full of wheat at the minute. She's probably got an answer to me. What's she going to show us? She's got the best poster ever. Mm. The best poster ever. So that'll be something you like then. <laughs> we? We. Yeah, sorry, yeah, we. Um, I still don't know what that is. Is it Minecraft or something? Yeah, pretty much. It's a friend or foe poster. Oh, it's been Off an signed. SB 737 series, and it's signed by all the YouTubers that are doing the series. Oh, yeah. I've never watched it. So that's a gaming... <laughs> that must be a gaming YouTube channel, then, I take it, that you... SB 737? Yeah. Gaming? Yeah. Yeah. No wonder I've never watched it. Well, you probably have, because she's watched them since she was little. Well. Lisa watching, but, made her a cushion with two of her favourite T-shirts that didn't fit her no more. So um, Lisa made it into a cushion for her, which she's really thrilled with. She's got some country balls, a nice soft one. She's got quite a few of them. She's got some of this SB737 <laughs> merch. So she's got a hat. Um, I think you should be all right. <laughs> Sean's just packed this nicely in the box and I'm just destroying oh, it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, she's got a t-shirt. I was normal three cats ago. Because Sean's got three cats. She's got another t-shirt. I went undo it, but that one's uh, another one of them 
SB737, is that right? <laughs> She's got some little chocolate Halloween ball things. She's got um, some jewellery. She's got some little pins. Some a card game with cats. A necklace chain for a necklace. And also we've got some DVDs. We've gone a bit, that's it. So, um, she's got plenty of DVDs. So that's what she's had so far, and I'm sure she'll get plenty more as the day goes on. I'm going to make some cream for the trough. Now, Dean's done other sandwiches, he's done salad bowls, and we pop them into the fridge. Um, I'm going to do some cream on my trifle. I don't buy a tubs of double cream cream whatever I use the bird's dream topping everybody seems to like that better and it, it's so nice <laughs> it's much nicer cream not that I can eat it at the minute but I thought we'll do that now but that will be one job out of the way then sandwiches are all made all in the fridge so um, I think other than I'm going to pop into the shed in a minute and we're going to air fry those um, apple, little mini apple pie things. I'll show you what they are in a minute. We'll just do this cream and then we'll pop in and air fry them. Then they'll be done. And I've just got to take some mini eclairs out of the freezer to start defrosting. They've got a few hours to defrost. They don't take long anyway. And then everything will be done. It's just a case then of cleaning up. That's the worst job, cleaning everywhere up and doing the tables up. And, well, closer to tea time, just putting all the food out. I've had to um, go around looking for plates, paper plates. Normally I like to match everything up, the paper plates and the napkins and the pudding bowls and spoons. I like matching them all up. But... I thought I've got to use all these on ends because when you buy them, you always get some left over. So I've got a mishmash of all sorts today, paper plates and things and different coloured spoons. And so I thought, oh, don't mind. They've got to be used, haven't they? So I'll just swing you down. Well, I'm getting used to it. I don't really need to swing you down. I can chat to you, but I will anyway. I'll chat to you and you can just watch what I'm doing. So I've already done um, the base. I've done jelly base with sponge. I don't put fruit in because a lot of them wouldn't eat it if there was fruit in it. And then I just do a couple of layers of custard. My lot like the custard best, so they like thick lashings of custard. So I tend to make a couple of pints of custard. I did them late yesterday, well, yesterday afternoon. I did the jelly, and then once that is set, I did the custard. So now I'm just going to do this cream. So this is going to be a bit noisy because I'm going to whisk it up. Remember to take the fork out of it first. And hopefully it'll thicken. That's the only thing when I'm doing it with dream topping. Getting the right amount of milk in. Sometimes it goes really runny. I always have to buy a couple of packets just in case I have to add an extra bit in. So we'll see what it does. Give it all a good whisk. Once I get the right mixture, it thickens up quite quick. Seems to be going all right, so I must have got it right today. Very noisy. We won't take long. See? I'll show you. It's already quite thick. That's thick enough. <laughs> Off there. I don't know if I'm going to need just the one on there. Normally I get away with just the one, but um, I don't know today because it's gone quite thick. Like I say, it depends on um, how much milk you put in and how much powder. You don't always get it bang on and how much of the stuff they put in the packet. Sometimes they seem to have more in a packet than other times, despite the fact they've got weights on them. So I might need to, I might just spread this thinly on. Just see. 
I like trifles. I do like trifles. My mum used to make a sherry trifle, but it was more like a sherry with a bit of trifle in it. Oh, we'd give it to children. They'd be staggering all over the place. It was so strong tasting. In fact, it put me off sherry trifle. I used to like sherry trifle, but oh, when my mum made the really strong ones, it was like, can't eat that. It put me off. You know, I might just do the other packet to go on this because it's quite thin. I can spread it all on, but you know, there's nothing nicer if you're having lashings of custard. With, you want lashings of cream as well. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to whisk another one up and put that on top to make a nice thick layer of cream because there's nothing nicer when you put your spoon into the trifle going through the thick layers of cream and double layers of custard and then just a bit of jelly and sponge at the bottom because most people prefer the custard and the cream but having said that there's an Elizabethan trifle and that doesn't have the jelly in it and I've always said oh I'm going to have a go at that recipe so one of these days I am actually going to have a go at it because I think that's just cream and sponge and custard but yeah I'm not sure if there's anything else and it might be some vanilla and something I can't remember off my head I keep saying I'm going to have a go at it because I fancy the taste of it so when I've got my sugar back down lower again I'm going to have a go at one of them <laughs> but anyway I'm going to do another layer of cream and um, when I've done that we'll pop into the shed and we'll air fry these little apple pies right I've come in my shed I found one of these um we're in my little cooking area and this is what I was telling you about the mini apple pie bites I don't know if any of you have had any they're from Iceland 12 in a box and they've got recipe recipes instructions for air frying because I had some before I did them in the oven warm door and they were beautiful they've got cinnamon and apple and cinnamon my favourite, although I'm not going to be able to eat them this time, but still nice. And they were very popular. A lot of people enjoyed them. So I thought, well, get some more. And then I spotted the air fryer instructions. I thought, oh, we'll give them a go in the air fryer. So they're in the oven, we'll do them in here. So I've got my wrong glasses on, actually. But I think it was 200 degrees centigrade for six minutes got me reading glasses so we'll open the box and we'll get some of them out show you what they're like in case you've not had them before but they are really nice if you like apple and cinnamon they're really tasty they're only that big just tiny little things i think it's easy to like because the door's open now sean's bringing a hoover in so let me bring you down I'm going to put them on the base of the tray, just spread them out. I'm wondering actually whether I might fit the two bags in because I've bought two bags. So I might be able to just get two in here. And that will save time again then. Because I've got quite a big tray, just spread them back a bit. We'll put these in as well and we'll see then what they do. And I mean that's not long, six minutes to cook them. In the oven it says eight minutes but it says six so it's not a lot quicker but i thought well we'll give it a go see what it does if i can get into the other bag i've got that in here actually bite it bite it open <laughs> right there's all of them in the bin. So we place them in there, just spread them out. And hopefully they'll come out okay. So I'm going to pop them in there, spring up a bit so you can see. So what was it, 200 degrees it said on air fry. Oh, I've gone past the tuners already on it. And six minutes. Difficult seeing these glasses. I've got to bring my reading ones. This is why you always see me in different glasses. 
I chop and change them the long range to me reading so I think that's all set up and off it goes so we'll have a look in six minutes time how they've turned out hopefully they've turned out well especially as I put both boxes in together and then they'll be done and I've got a nice little plate set them on I've got a collection of these little plates quite good for serving things on and uh, we'll check them out in a minute well, we've just beeped, so I'm going to have a look how they've turned out. Pop that down. I could have done with a thick towel, really, but never mind. Oh, they look all right. They look brown before, but let me just bring you down so you can see. There we go. They don't look too bad, do they? I could have done with a bit of a longer towel. I've just bought the tea towel. Right. I'll pop them onto a plate then. Um, I'm not sure if I'd said in my last video that I was having smart meters put in, electric meters, because my electric meter blew in the last storm we had. So yesterday we had um, smart meters put in because they said they didn't do any of the original ones anymore. So I thought, oh, we'll have them. So we're monitoring now because... It's quite easy to monitor what you're using, how much it costs, and uh, it tells you like what's bad and what's sort of good on electricity because there's colour indicators, red for the worse, orange for, well, amber for sort of in between, and green if you're hardly using anything. So, so far, we've discovered that the shower and the kettle go straight to the red everything else has been green so I've just got Lisa my eldest daughter to check what colour it was while I was air frying because I wanted to know what the air fryer did she said it went to amber so it's not the worst and it's not the best it's sort of using enough <laughs> so I'm not sure how cost effective it is everybody said that air fryers are cost effective I think maybe because they're quicker than going in the oven but as I've got a gas oven, I hardly use any gas. And the man who changed meters yesterday did remark on this, saying that you use next to nothing. So whether it saves me money or not, I don't know. But I do quite like doing them in the air fryer. And it's quite efficient to do it in there. So either way, I'm not too worried. So, yeah. There we go, then. There they are. They're hot. Nice. But the nicer when they're cold. Lovely. And... You know, people get a bit of cream or something on them, but they are beautiful. I'm so tempted to eat one, but I cannot eat one. But yeah, they are beautiful and they'll be nice. So we'll leave them cool because they'll be a nice finger dessert later on. So I'm off to do a bit of something else now. So I'm tidying up and I've got to set the tables up and see if we can do a bit of something with Sean before this evening. And I'll come back to you later on. This Well, in the evening toward the evening when i've set the tables up and i'll show you what we've put out for a buffet so for me it'll be a few hours for you it'll be instantaneous so this is our buffet um i used to have a bigger room for this than this i should say for buffets but because i swapped all my rooms around we're now like in the dining room which is a small area but it does the job so what sort of things do we do for buffets well, we always have to have jam sandwiches because my grandson and eats jam sandwiches and the kids, when they're there, they love them. No matter how old they are, they seem to love them. We do cheese sandwiches. We do ham sandwiches and we do egg sandwiches. Now, we don't add any extras into the sandwiches because you find people don't like this and don't like that. So I always find it's better to do the basics and then put separate things out. You know, if they want to put them in or alongside. We buy some savoury eggs, mini pasties. They're all bought in. Um, pork pies, better than around so you can see what they are. That's Melton Mowbray ones. We do little mini pizzas. Once upon a time, we used to do big pizzas and slice them up. But I find people seem to like them better when they're mini like this. So we do the mini cheese ones. Um, alongside of that we do some duck rolls and these I saw in Aldi the other day new and ready for the Christmas range and they were chicken and bacon and cheese um, 
pasties, pies, can't remember which they called them. But I thought, oh, they look really good. So I thought, we'll get some of them and try them. They came in packs of 10, so I bought two packs. Because everybody, especially the men, love um, their little pastry savouries. Up here, we've got some samosas, onion barges and vegetable spring rolls. So that's like a vegetarian plate because we do have vegetarians. We have chicken nibbles. Now, we used to do chicken drumsticks as well. But I found the smaller kids would go and try and eat them and there's bones in them. And I was always, oh dear, get very nervous about it. So I tend to just go for the nibbles these days when I'm just doing little family buffets. Um, here we've got some, um, oh dear, I forgot what you call them, the cheese things. <laughs> forgot what they're called now, the cheese stick things. And then macaroni cheese balls. So again, a vegetarian plate. We've got some more pork pies. We've got some uh, tomato and chilli pork pies. And in there, in the little tub, we've got some mini sausage rolls. We've got garlic mushrooms so again vegetarian as is the salad Let's move the salad over so you can see it so we've got cucumber tomatoes and onions are out of our own garden there in front of that we've got cheese and onion rolls my favorite <laughs> and of course sausage rolls and then there's some um the pepperoni mini pizzas Bring you back a bit, no too close. So there's an assortment of them. And then over here, it's like, well, we've got more cucumber, cucumber sticks, grapes and red grapes, white red, carrot sticks and strawberries because they're always very popular. We do some crisps, um, some vinegar twirls and some cheese balls. And then there's some ready salted crisps in packs that the kids like to just grab and go with. So dessert wise, we've got some mini flapjack bites and some caramel shortbread ones. Front of that, these are a must, the white chocolate fingers and the milk chocolate fingers. And we've got some jam tarts in the middle or shop bought because I didn't get around to making my own. I didn't have time. Here, we'll just move the server is a tray of cakes so we've got plain vanilla fairy cakes the children love them i was going to do one with jam and coconut on split them but because i've got jam tarts thought oh we won't do that so we've got some mini rolls going along the edge we've got some nice little assorted cakes strawberries and vanilla cakes and chocolate cakes there in the middle we've got battenberg we'll come round that'll be better that's it, we can see better. We've got Battenberg in the middle. And again, fairy cakes and chocolate ones this end. So a nice assortment of cakes there. Next to it, we've got Kit Kats. Now they're always a must. Whatever we do, whenever we have a buffet, tea party or anything, Kit Kats are a must. So we've got some white chocolate Kit Kats. We've got some orange Kit Kats, mint Kit Kats normal kit kats and around the other side some caramel kit kats so they're always a must you've seen me do the little apple bites in the um, air fryer they're lovely <laughs> got some mini chocolate eclairs and in the corner we've got the trifle now i don't know if you can see the trifle i don't really want to pull everything out but layers of custard not too much jelly <laughs> and lots of cream as you know i did two lots of cream on that one so that's what we're doing for a buffet and this well I'll say this will feed if everybody comes my, just my family alone my children wives partners and all their children my grandchildren we're looking at 19 people including myself and dean so there should be plenty there, I hope. But yeah, going back and you can see. So that's normally what we do. When we go to the shop and buy things for a buffet, this is the sort of thing we do. And I think the next time we do a buffet now will be Halloween, because Dean and Lisa like to do Halloween. So I always do a buffet for tea because the children come round, grandchildren. And uh, it's easier because when they're outside and... 
the parking and giving out sweets and things it's much easier to have a buffer and they can just come in and eat what they want so it'll be the same sort of thing then as well but yeah that's what we do so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed something a little bit different i'll be back with you now next week the next video i do next week will probably probably get my teeth in <laughs> be gardening the gardening collab and i take part in that once a month the end of every month and that's hosted by victoria from home educating the mad lads so we'll have a go around the garden so that'll be a bit of a urban homesteading one the next one and then the one after that will probably be back to air frying but i want to sort of mix things up a bit as well so you can see behind the scenes and other things we do and lots more cooking maybe as well so thank you for watching have a good weekend everybody and take care of yourselves bye